Hey guys, Crafty here from Living in Beta and in today's video we're going to expand on our previous crafting video outlining how to make lots of eddies during patch 1.5. Now of course, our videos a few days ago made you aware of how to make yourself bags of bags of eddies using the age old crafting method, but we missold it to you, we lied to you, I told you the recipe for the Ashura was where it was, in its old spot and it wasn't, and also same with the Yinglong as well. It seems CD Projekt Red has changed the spawn points of all recipes. They like to do that every patch anyway. Um, we'll take a note of that and make sure we give you correct info next time. I would like to say though that if, you already, if you're on a character that's already a high level, of course, those recipes will already likely, if you've gone through the game, be it in your crafting uh, recipe menu anyway. And you can just use them as we said. But... This video is here to save the day and reveal to you a new way to make eddies via crafting. Um, it's very popular right now and we're going to be using a crafting spec that we haven't used before. Still want to mention though, shout out to the Ashura and Yinglong, still solid prices. Anyway, let's get into the video. So before we get into the nitty gritty and the caveats of the crafting method itself, it's important that we go get the recipe. So where you'll want to be traveling to is you want to be heading into the Hayward area, more importantly at the south, um, to where I am on the map right here. Now the closest fast travel points will be of course Metro Glen South and uh, Ventura and Skyline, but it's important to note that we're actually on the road that's below uh, this road you see crossing over here. So essentially the best place to go would, would be Palms View Way and then make your way down this road here until you get to this location. You'll come through this kind of alleyway doorway there and make your way up. I've obviously jumped up to the fence so I can sneak behind the enemies when clearing the area. You can walk straight in guns blazing if you want to. Uh, all I'll say is there's lots of enemies in this area. Um, you can handle it, especially on high levels if you haven't cleared this out already. Um, on lower levels, Again, I'm on a level 34 character. You just got to be careful you don't get overwhelmed. So I like to sit on top here and, and pick them off. But notice as well, CD Projekt Red have actually left us a nice little tech sniper rifle on top here as well. I guess emphasizing the fact that you should try and pick people off from range. I though am going to use my smart assault rifle until I run out of ammo. So let's just pick off the enemies. Most importantly, we're going to be looking for the main honcho, which is this woman over here. Um, she's going to be the one that will give us our uh, recipe. Uh, let's just pick off the sniper rifle guy first, because obviously they're going to give us the most aggro. Um, so yeah, now I know, as I said in the intro, there is lots of recipes out there that you can use. The reason why this one has become the best is just the fact that it's literally the same amount of materials as the old Ashura used to be um, when crafting. So. It's important that you try and get the most bang for your buck and we'll go into more details of how cheap it actually is. But essentially you want to come pick this up. This may be on your character already if you're uh, a long time player of the game uh, and it would have dropped from a different area. Again, as I mentioned, CD Projekt Red have, have also, you know, moved everything around and, and placed recipes in different locations to where they would have been previously. Just something they like to do every patch. Um, I guess adds a bit of flavor to keep things not as stale as they were. Maybe there's locations that they wish they were in in the first place uh, and managed to place them there now. Um, I don't understand really though. Uh, it'd be nice if they stayed the same, but hey, do not worry. We will always cover the new locations. So let's just pick off all these enemies here. And you're looking for obviously the main person. Uh, you can see it on the map emphasized by the golden cross showing you this legendary loot. Let's pick off everyone here. Okay. so. When we go and loot in the body, you'll be looking for the crafting spec that is the Hygeek-11 Yukimura. The reason why this again is so beneficial is because it's only costing 12 rare, 12 epic and 2 legendary components. And that's on a character that of course is at 20 tech ability um, and has the reduced component cost. But let's go into the actual method itself and show you how you can make even more eddies for your crafting. Okay, so now we've got our uh, crafting spec of choice and we're all set up and ready to go. Let's start talking caveats, right? Now, as we all know, I've seen the comments out there. 
this is going to require a high level of crafting to be able to do this method as always and more importantly um, at least level 18 tech ability so you're able to craft legendary items now you see i've only really selected three main perks here and it's because it's only the real main perks that do make a difference when crafting of course the legendary one to get those most expensive weapons um, cost optimization to reduce that component cost and then of course ex nihilo to be able to craft an item for free in a 20 percent chance which is very good now there's a couple of other caveats to, to bring in bring to the table here right so firstly you've got crafting level and you'll see as you scroll through um these it also shows you that they do give you some added benefits right you've got perk points reducing crafting cost by five percent this may not always be the same for everyone until they've got to level 20. now the benefit of getting to level 20 on the crafting skill unlocks the ability to put perk points in crazy science and you can see what it does there increases the sale price of an item by 10 percent one percent perk by per perk level now i'm going to showcase what it's like to craft a weapon without this and then i'll put the re seven remaining perk points that i've got um, available into this just to give you an example right now i understand for someone who's level 48 with 50 street cred uh, it's easy for me to say this is easy enough to do um, but when you look at when you can actually get to 20 tech ability you can put six points uh, into the tech tree from the very start when making your character that's the maximum they'll allow you to put there and then from there you've just got to gain another 14 levels so you could be level 14 and have 20 tech ability and i understand that people will then argue that you won't be powerful enough to get to you know level 14 but having only six in the tech tree uh from start means you can assign which is only three points from assigning it that means you can assign the other four in, in areas like body or reflexes or wherever you're looking to go to really add um, that ability to do some damage and of course perks are still available as well every time throughout the game so if you really want to get there quick you can do that uh, and to be honest if you do every side quest in um, in Watson when you're first starting out because uh, your starting area is Watson you could end, leave this at level, uh, leave this area in level 12 anyway. Okay. So, how does this work? Now, most people are talking about now that the best weapon out there, as I've just showed you in, uh, before this part of the video, to obtain and craft is the Hijik 11 Yuki Mura, and the reason for that is is how much materials it takes to make it. Now with the um, perks, the cost op optimization perk, of course it costs 11 epic item components, two legendary and 11 rare. That's only gonna come to a total cost of 386 eddies, which really, you know, is nothing. And me being at level 48, 50 street cred and level 20 tech ability, I have the weapon itself selling at 3065, right? Now, something to bear in mind, well, I, was, I was at level 18 crafting before making this video and in preparation I leveled up to level 20 crafting and this price for this weapon went from 2,676 to 3,065. So your weapon itself is not only gauged by your level of your character because of scaling but it also does have a massive effect on here. Um, you know, these sections that you unlock here do give you a benefit. Now, as I said, you're going to the crafting menu and you'll choose your weapon of choice. The weapon we're most spoken about now is this one, except if, as I said, due to the materials, cheapest cost and easy to make. But there is weapons out here, you know, like the the G-58 Dian, which is only 14.14.4, which is a total cost of 532 to make, you know. You've got the Ying Long here, um, which I've men mentioned before, which is 864 to make, but then you're selling it at 3,831. So you're going to get a lot more benefit from that. Explore, see what's about. You'll pick up these crafting specs anyway throughout the game. And you'll be able to make the benefit of what, what works for you really in terms of cost. Now, the process of doing it, of course, is just crafting the weapons over and over again until you're overcumbered. And then you sell them at the drop point here or any drop point in, the, in Night City. The reason why I'm in this location is you've not only got a, uh, a store to purchase materials off, but then you've got a drop point 
right there as well to sell closest fast travel point here will be fuel station and this is in the badlands area of night city you'll notice i've highlighted the junk shop here as well that's because that junk shop sells all materials including common and uncommon uh, if you're looking for you know those kind of materials as well so what you'll essentially do is you'll go into the vendor and you'll you'll speak to them and you'll buy all the materials you can now in terms of what amount of money you need i know i'm on a character that's got a lot of eddies but as long as you can afford the initial 386 eddies to make this weapon you're then going to quadruple that right into three well 10 times it into 3k and then you, you can see how it starts having a snowball effect down the line so you'll go into the, the vendor you obviously buy the the amount you need so let's just buy the exact amount for the second oh let me just buy them all but let me just showcase the price for you um so we'll go down so two coming at 56 eddies as i said uh rare components being 11 coming in 198 and then epic components coming in at 11 as well with 132 you'll then of course leave um go into your crafting menu go to the weapon you want to craft and then craft it hoping for a free like that i just got a free craft which is basically 3000 eddies for free you'll keep crafting until you run out of materials once you run out of materials you'll go out to the drop point uh, and then sell the items you've made until the drop point runs out of eddies obviously the main point that we use the drop point not the vendor if the drop point has a consistent variable of 200k every time um vendors obviously have a differing amount you can see i've made a lot more here as well just on my travels you would essentially keep doing this and then waiting 24 hours and then rinsing and repeating right pretty simple and pretty easy turning 300 eddies into 3k you can you know i don't you don't have to be a mathematician to realize that you're going to earn a lot of money and the only real caveat once you've got to the required levels is the amount of time you're willing to take uh the reason the reason i've got 1.5 mil now is because pre 1.5 patch i did a lot of this anyway with the assurer um just you know in preparation so yeah that's pretty much the way to go now some people will say that um crafty what if i've uh already assigned points in other things um then of course you can and, and you want to put points in uh crazy science which we'll try in a second to increase the sale price then of course you can reset your perks now i kind of recommend that you get enough eddies first before you start resetting perks because you can still you're still making 3k off 384 right but if you really want to min max if we just uh you know put all the perk points in this now just to see for reference and go back to the craftable weapon it's now coming at 3260 right which and, and you're still buying it at 386 but it's not recommended and i don't necessarily think you need to do that um even if you were at level 18 which is the level you need to to get the ability to craft legendary items the weapon is still going to sell at 267 or 2,676 eddies, sorry. And you're still making a massive profit anyway, right? So yeah, RIP the Asura location and RIP probably the Yinglong location as well. But as I said, go out there and find a weapon that suits you. You're still making a profit no matter which weapon you use. But the most bang for your buck right now is the Hajuk 11 Yukimura. And you can go get that from the location stated in this video. As always, thanks for watching. Drop the video a like if it helped you out. Share with your friends and family. Subscribe for more content like this one. And remember, don't be a gonk. <laughs>